guys seems like we are I am done I did all the work after all you were just watching anyways the coilovers front and rear brakes including rotors front and back rear diff now you saw how difficult the one caliper bolt and one on the back and one on the front uh, basically stripped off stripped out the uh, threads I don't know what the deal was I tried my best, uh, used PB blaster, didn't work. Stripped out the inside of the caliper. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I'm kind, I'm kind of pissed off at it. Gave me two unnecessary problems, two extra unnecessary problems. Look at this mess. Yes, this is my homemade or home lamp modified to uh, fit under cars and there you go probably didn't have to take the exhaust off but it just made things easier left side calipers came off right away you can tell by if I squeeze this well one hand is kind of difficult as you can see I can squeeze this spring myself so I won't have to compress any of them found the issue with the boot there's a small tiny little crack right about here right there you can kind of see it the axle just popped out no issues there transmission oil is actually still dripping so let me talk a little about why i'm going for softer springs you can tell where the the wear line is right here Ideally, you want to be right above this little triangle here. So, got a bit of ways to go. Now, the car did handle very, very nicely. It was well balanced. It was hard to oversteer it or understeer it. But there's room for improvement on the track, that is. Here we got the rear tire. Looking for the triangle. There it is. So now you can see where the line is. It's the outside is almost the same as far as front and back. Actually, this is better. The back is better on the inside than the front. I did run 30 psi on front and back. I mean, you don't want to go and you lower. Well, you can. Like that. That was cold. It was super hot that day. I don't know if you watch that other video you can kind of fast forward through it and just check out how the brakes caught fire anyways the brakes these are front pads look at this cracked cracked right here all messed up on this side <laughs> and just turned white yeah Look at this one. Look at this crack right here. Yep, these are done. Inside front rotor. It actually feels a bit worse than the outside. It always does for some reason. The inside always, almost always, is worse than the outside on any cars this bolt broke off I could not fit the gun in there that's why it made things difficult it's kind of hard to uh, tell felt like it was coming out again I was I must have put it in and out 20 times with PB blaster but it just didn't work so I'm probably gonna end up drilling this 
out just put a bigger sized bolt in there and obviously I'm gonna have to drill this this out too I'm not about to buy new calipers because of something stupid like this old diff old new diff I'm gonna open both up most likely switch the gears from the old one to this one I want to keep this cooling cover it also holds more oil so that's kind of nice replace the seals got some rear diff oil and this time I'm gonna use Motul 660 for brake fluid instead of this what's in there right now this has a boiling point of 536 Fahrenheit gotta measure the springs and order the right ones so I won't have any surprises I, I didn't order them before I wanted to make sure that I get the right ones forgot to mention why I I'm switching to softer springs. This thing drove beautifully on the track, but it's almost, well, it's not impossible, but it's very difficult to go fast around a, an autocross track, which is bumpy. And that's the main reason. The car is just too stiff. And I really, really gotta slow down. If I know there's a bump, I gotta slow down because I'm just gonna lose it. And the softer springs should help with that. And of course, after all of it is done, I'm going to go straight for an alignment and corner balancing. So next up, we're taking the diff apart. We're going to take the coilovers apart and we're going to start putting stuff back together. So like, subscribe, comment. I hope you had fun like I did. Lots of fun. I'll see you soon.